Hey, as the owner of a small law firm, are you struggling with work-life balance? You find yourself in chaos. There's more work than there is life in the whole balance equation. My name is Richard James, and I get it. I've been there. I've got the T-shirt, and after working with over 900 and some odd attorneys, I can tell you I've seen just about everything, and we've boiled it down to three simple steps. We'll call it a three-part system that you need to pay attention to to start breaking free of the chaos and moving towards the freedom that you're looking for. So let's talk about it real quick. The step number one, part number one is to identify your A as a law firm owner. Where are you right now? Where do you stand right now? It's kind of holding the mirror up and looking at the truth about your situation. Now, that's difficult for attorneys a lot of times, oftentimes because, you know, you're likely the smartest person in the room. You likely always got A's and you weren't told you were wrong very often. And being law wrong in law is not a good thing. But being wrong in small business ownership is actually quite normal. And I want to permission you that it's okay to, to be wrong. And, and you have to start looking at the ways in which we're wrong as a business owner. I know that's tough. I know that, you know, it takes some, you know, difficult medicine to swallow or a difficult pill to swallow, as my grandmother would say. But it's necessary because if you can do that, you can identify where we are right now. And there's lots of areas for you to identify. There's your profitability. There's your overall time. There's your client satisfaction. There's your workflow. There's your employees. There's lots of ways for you to be able to measure your overall uh, A uh, on different levels. But let's start with the macro one. Like on a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being like you're not very happy with life and business at all, and 10 being like you couldn't be more happy. Where are you personally on a scale from 1 to 10 with you and your business overall? And so if you start there, that'll give you your A and your starting point. Now, the second part to this process for a small law firm owner that you need to pay attention to, to break free from the chaos and move towards the freedom is to identify your B, right? This is what you have to do. You have to figure out where you want to go. Now, again, this is also called goal setting and it's worked for eons. It's worked for every other business owner in the world. It'll work for you too. Most people don't realize that if they want something bad enough and they put their attention on it, as my good buddy says, why Blaine Elkers, our chief results officer, says what you think about you bring about it. If you don't realize that, it's going to be really hard to utilize the tools that the universe has given us. And one of them that they've given us is this ability to set your B, to set your sail, to say, I'm going to go in this direction. And so again, where do you want to be in your life? Where do you want to be in your business? And, and then where do you, which area of your business are you going to work on? Which area of your life are you going to work on? But again, let's just start with what number are you at right now? Are you on a scale from 1 to 10, your level of happiness of your, yourself and your life and your business? Are you a 1 and, and you're not happy at all? Are you a 10 and you're ecstatic? And where do you want to be, right? Let's, let's talk about we know what our A is. Now we know what our B is. Let's talk about part three. You know, you're, you're pretty bright. You guessed it. It's simple. It's not complicated. You might go, Rich, I've heard this before. Well, are you doing it? Have you sat down and identified your A? Have you sat down and identified your B? And part number three, have you start, sat down and identified the journey? The journey that you're going to have to take to get from A to B in every one of the areas of your life that you need to fix. What are all the areas of life? You've got your health. You've got your finances. You've got spiritual. You've got social. You've got your business. In your business, you've got lots of areas. You've got your marketing and lead generation. You've got your sales and your conversions. You've got your your pricing and your collections. And you've got your workflow and getting the work done. You have your employees and your leadership. You have all the other ancillary things that come with running a business. And how are you gauging yourself? And what is your A and what is your B in every one of those areas? And then what is your plan? But look, if you don't get your A right, if you don't get your B right, it's going to be impossible for you to make your plan. And so you got to start with the first two things first. And then what will happen is the plan will start to magically show up. Because if you know where you are and you know where you want to be, what's going to happen is you're going to figure out a way to start working it. You're going to get around other people who have already solved this problem with you. You're going to plug in. You're going to start taking action and baby steps little by little. You're going to crawl out of chaos and you're going to move towards freedom. My name is Richard James. Let's go ahead and create your A, your B, and your journey and start getting out of chaos and moving you towards freedom today.